Please. We're only watching you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Yes, I've watched it all and I love it. I've watched it as well. Have you watched it all? Yes. Yeah. I have actually heard about this and yeah. it does actually look really good. It is pretty good, I finished it. I've heard very little about this, but I get the impression it's about some sort of like unhealthy relationship and Penn Badgley has been like, don't fancy me. You kind of want him to stalk you. Can I help you find him? I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see many good looking serial killers, that's the thing. Ted Bundy? Ted Bundy was all right. Ted, yeah. yeah. Terrible I, name. Penn Badgley, that can't it's be not, his... It's not like Ethan Hawke, <laughs> Brad Pitt. Pen badgley. Oh. Imagine I was like, yeah, it's name's Donald, but you can call me Big D. <laughs> a guy needs to protect himself. I had to be sure you're safe. Mm. Look at this now. This is interesting because this is actually a possibility. I was concerned. You didn't mention that cute guy in the bookstore. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes now and looks her up on all our social channels. We've all been there. Okay, you fancy someone, you're gonna have a little gawk, find them on Facebook, give them a quick poke. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sold you down the river. No, it's just me. No, nobody does that, Justin. Uh, okay. He looks like Dennis from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He is Dennis! He's Dennis! <laughs> this really creeps me out, like the idea that you would search somebody online. Oh my God! Is he outside her house? But like, we've all done that. Every, you know, creeping it real. Everyone has a little creep, you know? Stop mentioning it. Just say, <laughs> stop it. Why should be watching fucking you? <laughs> He's following her all over the place. <laughs> There's Shane Mitchell. She's in Pretty Little Liars. It's like the, it's like the Avengers, year. just all the shitty shows yeah. is coming together. He's not a fan of Benji. Benji, the boyfriend. My best friend walked in on you getting your dick sucked by some random woman in a bathroom at a party that I took you to. But she said she had good coke, and I've been seriously stressed. No, but if you have, baby, I was just stressed. I'm just stressed, and it was high just coke. coke. It's kind of getting blowy, yeah, relax. Yeah, just suck my dick and shut <laughs> up. Didn't even finish, so it doesn't count. <laughs> In fairness, she can do better. That lad, Benji. Yeah, fuck off, He seems Benji. like a bit of a dick. He looks like he makes his own hummus. Yeah. And that's a no from me. I thought when Jono and I started our line, it was going to be like picking out flavors and shit. It turns out it's 16-hour lectures on microbial management. People don't talk like this. Wouldn't it? Like, people... <laughs> what? What? I like the way he's doing non-cool stalking, by the way. As in, like, he's doing this. <laughs> this isn't impossible. This isn't no, too far it's, from it's the definitely realm of possibility. My guess is, if he came anywhere close to making you come, you'd have made a Broadway show out of it. You'd make a Broadway show of it. Of coming. Make a Broadway show. show. My orgasm. Two tickets to my orgasm, please. Full, full orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. Mm. Obviously. Oh my god, he's wanking in the oh, bushes. No. You're so kind. That man is not kind. You was just jerking off in your bushes, lady. Suppose you can help me get a cat, can you? Yeah, he can flag one with his dick that's obviously pointing right at <laughs> that. Like Taxi? That's why it gets confusing. It's like, oh, he's a nice guy it's to not, the kids. It, how, right, how, how, I'll explain this to you, Justine. It's not confusing. It's really <laughs> wanking and peeking over a bush into a window, and you're like, do you know what? He was nice to the kid, though. Got him a wee lollipop at the weekend. Oh, a laptop. That's not a book. <laughs> <laughs> he's betrayed her. <laughs> P.S. I can still smell you on the Oh! <laughs> Woo! Well, that's a, it's a, real, it's a real out there one. Uh, wash your wash fucking your hands, hands, you scrot. He went for broke there. He did. He really, he really <laughs> Played all to, his cards on the table. You really need to be comfortable to hit that one. What if it's finally time for me to date someone good for me? Good for me, and he's in my bedroom. <gasps> oh my god, she's home. This, he's in her shower. I've seen enough romantic comedies to know guys like me are always getting in jams like this. Oh, and that's exactly what a psycho would say as well. I've seen this shit in romantic comedies. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. That's how I, I start all my calls. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. <laughs> Whatever, uh, your mom's in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually so true. As someone who ran an open mic nights, this is terribly accurate. Even, this, even the psycho just... can't handle it. He's like, no, sorry, it's too embarrassing. <laughs> Like I'll wank in a bush, but I won't watch you read bad poetry no more. Beck, stop texting that arrogant club soda no show dickhead. I didn't know Dermot was in the show. <laughs> no! But they're electrified! Don't help her up, man. Where's your book now? Just stay still. Half that shit down there can let you. I love the way he's just like, just stay still while the train comes. If I know anything about the subway system in New York. That train's not gonna arrive for another half an hour. Oh. You're sorted. Hurry up! Oh my god, get out! 
This is <sighs> needlessly dramatic for a first episode of the series. Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> this is the first. Oh! oh man, that was great. I'm not always like this. <laughs> you'd hope not. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'd be dead. <laughs> <gasps> he has her phone! He took her book. Wow. Portable book. It's just a soda pop guy. Yeah. We're gonna be the next level of soda pop. <laughs> what kind of business meeting goes? Like, I'll meet you in an alleyway. Bring a four pack. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. I'm on Penn's side there now, I must say. No, I'm gone. I'm, I'm, out. I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm there with Badgley in that one. Remember me? How could he. She got sick in his mouth. I mean, if someone's like, do you remember it? It's like, yeah, you puked in my mouth. Yeah. Number nine on the New York Transit line. If your girl falls on the track, pick her up, pick her up. It's the way to tell man's heart. Fuck that scoop. <laughs> Whatever you think I did, you got the wrong guy. No. I don't. Oh, yay. Even if I didn't like the show, I've been drinking with a lot of the cast of the show at the Fringe Festival a few times, all right? This so is I, huge. So I can't, so, so <laughs> even if I did hate it, I'd be like, oh, it's like, but that I actually did enjoy it. <laughs> Shock horror. <laughs> Ryan likes something. I was like, oh, I'll start this now. It'll be one of those before bed episode. No, no, man. Like some people think it's romantic that he stalked her because they were like, I'd love a lad to want me that much. That was kind of nice. No, it's not. It's creepy. Like that. He watched her masturbate with a pillow. We've all done that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've read a lot of articles of just like people thinking he's really cute and like that's so sweet that he'd kill a guy for her. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's not sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that's psychopathic. Those cheekbones, he's got great bone yeah. structure. You could cut that dude's throat with it. <laughs> Come here, Benji. <laughs> if you do me. not like and subscribe, you two will be locked in a glass cage. Not of emotion, but of pain. With books. <laughs> no, no books. No books. No, just a gun with a single bullet in it. <laughs> and a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. So please uh, subscribe. <laughs>